In this lecture, we are going to study type, scope of nursery production and management. Further, we will study soil management technique and what environment is suited for growing plants and their maintenance. A nursery is a place where plants are propagated and grown to usable size. They include retail nurseries which sell to the general public, wholesale nurseries which sell only to the businesses and other nurseries, commercial gardens, and private nurseries which supply to needs of institution or private estate. A nursery is supplier of garden plants, where range of nurseries function is far wider and is of vital importance to many branches of agriculture, forestry, and conservation biology. Some nurseries specialize in one phase of the process, propagation, growing out or retail sale or in the type of plant. Examples are ground covers, shade plants or rock garden plants. Let's have a look at the type of nurseries. In temporary nurseries, only satisfaction for the requirement of the seasonal or targeted project takes place. On the other hand, permanent nurseries are in which the type of nursery is placed permanently so as to produce plants continuously. According to types of plant produced, nurseries are classified into following types. In this fruit plant nurseries, seedlings and grafts of fruit crops are developed. Vegetable nurseries is a type in which nursery seedling of cauliflower, cabbage, brinjal and tomatoes are prepared. Flower plant nurseries, the seedling of flower, flower plants like carnation, salvia, rose, coleus, aster and dianthus are developed in these industries. In forest nurseries, the seedling of plant useful for the forestation like pine, oak, teak, eucalyptus are prepared and sold. There is another type which is called miscellaneous nurseries in which nurseries plant with a great economical value and medicinal herbal plants are propagated. In this nursery, plants like rose, calendula and marigold are prepared. The farm management system is designed to enhance the status and recognition of businesses to continuous business improvement as well as striving for the highest level of professionalism. Businesses in the farm management system program work towards best management practices across nursery production and environment impact and natural resources. The program aims to help participants deliver constant production quality and performance. The scope of nursery management is to improve profi profitability through the adoption of industry best management practice and continuous improvement. It improves customer confidence at all levels of the distribution chain. It provides tools for managing environment and resource impact. It also encourages the use of environmental sound work practices. The farm management system can help business to reduce costs through the improved production and business process and increases marketplace recognition and customer satisfaction. It lifts level of professionalism and improves staff knowledge and skill. Let's have a look at nursery site selection and its layout. The primary consideration in selecting a site for field nursery production is the soil. Field should be free from large stone and hard pans that interface with the root development. Not only must the soil be fertilized and well drained, but it must hold together around the roots. Location that flood periodically must be avoided. The ideal site has a slightly sloping topography, which offers water drainage to a pond or retention basin for the recycling back to the crop. 
A reliable source of clean, pest-free water is an important consideration if irrigation is to be used. Soil management practices that affect soil quality. Thus, by controlling traffic on the soil surface helps to reduce soil compaction, which can reduce aeration and water infiltration. Let us understand the qualities and characteristics of a good nursery soil. Soil management offers information to manage agricultural soil for optimum crop yield and at the time, it maintains and improves the capacity of soil to provide essential ecosystem functions. Soil delivers nutrient and water and gives plant structural support. Soil helps to control water moving over and through the surface of earth. Soil can filter and decompose organic substances such as manure, agricultural chemical and other compound that can pollute air and water. Good nursery soil has quality of supporting beneficial fungus, bacteria and earthworm and is rich in slow release of nutrient and has high cation exchange capacity. Environment requirement for nursery management is considered on the basis of two main factors. These are watering and light. Watering will be done according to the need of plant. The nursery should have a water source of its own. Sprinkler system of irrigation is not advisable at the beginning. The right amount of light is critical for the healthy plant development of the seedlings. Too much shade such as in the high plant densities led to elongated growth of the seedling. It makes them weak and prone to fungus diseases. Fertilizers enhances the growth of plant. This led to meat in the two ways. First is in traditional being additive that provide nutrients. The second mode by which some fertilizer act to enhance the effectiveness of soil by modifying its water retention. The nutrient required required for the healthy plant life are classified according to the elements but the elements are not used as fertilizers three main macronutrients are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium it is a product obtained after decomposition of organic matter like cow dung which replenishes the soil with the essential element and adds humus to the soil Manure from different animal has different qualities and requires different application rate when used as fertilizer. Manure is organic matter used as organic fertilizer in agriculture. Manure contribute to the fertility of the soil by adding organic matter and nutrient such as nitrogen that are trapped by the bacteria in the soil. Maintenance involves daily watering except when it is raining, weeding, if necessary partial shading when needed and inspection for the disease and pest incidents. This is for today. See you in the next session.